night. It's unfortunately the third time of the dragon that I'm going to be doing a benefit concert. Hmm. One of two things are going to be benefiting uh, the gentleman who this CD is overall uh, dedicated to. His name is Jack Dill in the Society. His name is Don Jock McKee. He is the man that I was a cadet to. He's the man that brought me into society. He taught me everything I know about a sword that was worth learning. He taught me much. He's the best man at my wedding. He is the best friend I've ever known. He's currently locked in a duel I can't help him with. It's a very difficult fight for him to fight, and he is fighting it hard. <clears throat> in the back there are my CDs. If I could give every dime, I would. So I'm going to have a contest between the two, either my CDs or the tip jar, whichever, uh, either the portion of the CDs or the, the amount of the tip jar will be sent to him and his lady to cover their travel expenses, to cover his medical visits, etc., etc. So please be generous. Buy my CDs, tip the, tip the dragon. If you don't have enough to pick up a CD, I appreciate it. Um, but uh, I don't want to bring this down. Jack is a fighter and I love him very much, so we're going to bring it back up a little bit. And uh, tonight, celebrate. Drink, sing, have a great time. We've got lots of sets coming up. I'm going to do this one. I'm going to take a little break, and then I come, come back and do another set. But I have a funny plan about our breaks. Um, our circle, where's where's Camilla? Where's Dunn Kai? Oh, Kai! Uh, North Shields Order of the White Star Circle recently expanded by one to include Cavelli McKinley, and we have a lovely tradition in North Shield, and that is that uh, every time uh, there's a meeting, the new White Scarf has to bring the beer. And I figure, I figure we can have a meeting every time I take a break. <laughs> Shield. Therefore, Kai is going to provide us with beer <laughs> every time we take a break. <laughs> that's right, baby, that's the bus. I just threw you under. <laughs> You're welcome. I love my little brothers. <laughs> so I'm going to leave on an upbeat, a somewhat ridiculous song. It's about drinking too much and making mistakes. <laughs> yeah. No, not that song. No, we never That one will come later. Uh, this one's called Minus Three, and if you're offended by it, I didn't write it. <laughs> <laughs> well, there once was a man who was a white, but he had in mind a pretty little thing he would love upon his life, he not what he would find. So they went to an inn where they kind of left a bit at the side of the lion's den. A girl he would cheese who was probably a freak of a scale of one to ten. So he ordered up a beer, but his vision was still as clear, so he ordered up one pint more. And as the bottle passed his lips, he was staring at her hips, and the savage she was probably a four. <laughs> <laughs> well, when that time was through, he decided to move and beer to where he came. And he said she was alive, she was probably a five, so he asked her for her name. Well, she looked him in the eye, but she gave him no reply, so he brought him a glass of wine. He was really a good fixture, looking like a six, and he said, will you be mine? After drink eleven, she was looking like a seven, in fact, she was really great. And after one more round, surprisingly, he found he was sitting with the eight. <laughs> well, when he asked her to dine, he wished she was fine, and he reached for his ring, and then he drank another ale, found his love would never fail. And he praised her as a ten. <laughs> now he has a wife. Who will love him all his life? <laughs> and a long life it will, what a long life will be. When the ale had cleared his head, he was wishing he was dead. For he married a minus three. <laughs> 